Hi, I'm Sarah Vandella. I am 24 years old from New York, Long Island, New York. My measurements are 36D, 25, 34. I am a Sagittarius and I love sex. <laughs> I, um, I have wanted to be in the sex industry all my life and I've always known that ever since I was about seven years old. I became a sex worker um, in May of this year. I did my first scene for Naughty America and that was before I ever had an agent and they put me on the box cover for my sister's hot friend volume 9. So that was really cool. Um, my co-star was Jack Venice and he's really sweet and I love him. My first kiss, oh my god. I was probably 11 <laughs> and the kid who I kissed was probably 16 and he had braces. I remember this because um, they felt funny. <laughs> And um, this was when we were living in California. We lived in California for about four years um, in Orange County, and then we moved back to New York. Um, but yeah, this kid was, his name was Josh. <laughs> and um, it was in a, a summer night, and we were playing, the whole neighborhood, the neighborhood kids, we were playing like um, flashlight tag, and all the kids would have a flashlight, and it was dark out. So Josh and I hid together and he kissed me and I remember the braces touching my lip and that was my first kiss. My first scene, okay, this is great. My first scene was for um, Naughty America. It was for my sister's hot friend and it was with Jack Bennis who is absolutely wonderful. He was so supportive of me and totally um, help me out. I have to say, however, my acting and performance was below mediocre, and um, hopefully, I, I believe I have come a long way since then. Um, but the people of Naughty America were very supportive of me and believed in me, and they gave me the box cover for that, which was was a promise Brett Brando made to me, and it was just so wonderful that he believed in me, and I thank him dearly. So that was my first scene, and he actually gave me not only that scene, but two other scenes for the, for the company, Naughty America, after that. So those are my first three scenes were with Naughty America, which they have a special place in my heart, because they believed in me, and I didn't even have an agent, which was really great. Really great. When you don't have makeup on, and you wake up, and you can be you, that is sexy. And you're just you, and you're not, and you're not doing porn, and you're, you're just you. That to me is sexy. When you're not trying to impress a woman, and you're just okay with yourself, that is sexy to me. And of course, you know, being a good kisser and, and wooing someone and. and having game, those things can be sexy as well, but to me the sexiest thing is not trying to impress someone and merely being yourself. To me that is the sexiest thing. I love the ass. I love the ass. Um, I'm big with the ass. Um, <laughs> on a female, love the ass. And lips. Love lips. I it doesn't have to necessarily be full lips. Sometimes the way someone has an expression is just very intriguing and makes you want to do ungodly things. <laughs> I enjoy being home in New York and um, going hiking and sleeping late and doing yoga and going to my mom's and drinking tea and just not really thinking about the, uh, the push for, you know, making money or what I have to do for the, uh, the, the, you know, the ultimate, the goal, you know, the ultimate goal. What is the ultimate goal? What I, what I have to be, that, you know, is, is, is important and one needs to think about that and I need to think about that, but, um, I really enjoy not thinking about that and just being Sarah. Who is Sarah? Um, that's why I chose to use my real name. My real name is Sarah, and I'm okay with saying that. Um, 
but I, I really enjoy just, you know, thinking about that this is, a, this is a job and I love it and I was told from a very young age to do what I love and um, I love sex, I love pleasing people, I love um, the glamour of it, the getting my makeup done and being this, this, this character, Sarah Vandella, but um, I really enjoy not being her as well because there's such a gift in, in the freedom of the hours uh, that I can spend away from here, you know, but I enjoy that. The things that I do, I do boy-girl, I do girl-girl, I do solos, I do um, solos with toys, I do um, the... That's pretty much it for now, and you know, within all that, there's certain things I'll do, certain boundaries I have, certain boundaries I don't have, and um, I'd like to think in the future I might do more. However, I can't say that that's for certain and I can't give someone a promise as to what that will be. Um, but I love what I do do now and hopefully that will be enough for certain people. I'd hate to think that um, what I feel comfortable with, someone else would want to change about me. Um, we're always looking for more as a society. We're always looking for the next one, the next the next great thing, the next biggest thing. And I don't always know why. Maybe I know why. It's that underlying feeling of never being satisfied enough with what we already have. <laughs> but um, I'm satisfied. Maybe you can be too, I don't know. Hopefully I satisfy you. <laughs> well, I am Sarah Vandella, and thank you so much for watching AVN and I hope you've enjoyed what I've had to say.